Hi everybody, this is a padded Amazon bag. I'm recreating a really cool project that my friend Andrena over at Lelexi Creations made. She made hers out of a manila folder, but I didn't have one, so I'm just using an Amazon bag. As you can see, I'm just cutting it down to the shape of a tag, and I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on this front surface and smooth that out. I got this grunge paper from Etsy and I'm going to just cover the tag with that and cut it out. And now I'm going to take this stencil. It's really hard to see because it's clear. I got it at Walmart, but it's a bird cage and I'm using raw umber paint to stencil that on with um, one of those little pouncy brushes. I didn't want the whole thing to be neat and clean. I wanted some of it to be missing and I did achieve that, but it looks so cute. This is just a piece of cardboard. I'm going to trace the bottom of a bottle onto it and cut it out. And then I'm gonna cut out the middle to make a little donut. Y'all, I got a phone call and when I came back, I just started working without pushing play or record. So I just made a little washer out of that. I grunged it up by using paint and cinnamon. I already started putting on some rub on transfers too before I realized I didn't push record. So I'm just gonna finish that up now. I am so irritated right now that I missed that step, but hopefully you can um, figure out that I just painted the washer and sprinkled cinnamon on it and then just glued it to the top. I did punch a hole also. So once I get the rub-on transfers done, I want them to be a little worn out. So I'm just scuffing them up with my gator sander. And now I'm going to go around the tag with some of that burnt umber or raw umber paint just to kind of blend all that in together to make it all look old. And finally, I'm going to take a piece of ripped material I have in my stash and make a hanger out of it. I am not going to hang it, but it looks cute. And I added just a little tiny bit of um, Sweet Annie to the top, and that is it. I made this back in the spring, and it is still on display in my home. I'm gonna show you different ways you can use it in case you decide to make it yourself. Just be creative, move it around your home and see where it works. Don't forget to water the vine, and I'll see you next time.